what's up you guys my name's Allie and welcome to my channel today is a super super exciting day because I got another thread up box once again I decided to go for a goodie box I don't know what's come over me I really do enjoy picking my own items but I decided just to get another goodie box because why not so if you don't know too much about thread up and goodie boxes I would encourage you to watch the last video that I made about a thread up goodie box because I don't really want to explain it all again but in a nutshell thread up is an online thrift store and they offer secondhand clothes accessories shoes for women and children but they also offer these things called goodie boxes you pay ten dollars and their stylist sends you a box of ten items and they do have different themes. The last goodie box I got was trendy items. I thought they did a pretty good job and I was really impressed with the overall experience. So I thought, why not do it again? So this time I'm doing athleisure because like many of you guys, I'm sure I'm stuck at home a lot. I end up wearing the same like three ratty pairs of sweats I have like every single day. So I'm really curious to see what they send me. We'll see if they send me like more stylish athletic wear that's kind of in right now or if they'll just send me a bunch of like secondhand old gross sweats we'll see i don't know so we'll go through the box together i'll try them on for you guys hopefully there will be at least one thing that i want to keep because the ten dollars that i spent to get this box would go towards any items that i keep but worst case scenario i don't want to keep anything whatever i spent ten dollars to get a little bit of excitement on this random friday so let's get into it. All right, so just as always, they packaged it nice and cute. This did get rained on a little bit, so I am hoping that nothing inside got wet. So they gave me the overview of my order right on top. Looks like a good mix. I was kind of expecting a lot of like LuLaRoe and Old Navy because I see a lot of that on the site, but I actually only see one of each. They gave me all different brands. They gave me, I think, 10 different brands, so I appreciate that. It looks like most items would cost anywhere between $18 and $30 if I were to keep any of them, which is a little bit pricey in my mind for secondhand, but when they're sending it to you, of course, they're not going to send you the stuff that's like majorly on sale. But I have high hopes and I'm excited, so let's get into the haul! Okay, I will say the one thing I'm a little bit concerned of right off the bat is the last time I got this goodie box, they had like a packing slip right on top waiting for me to return everything. And I don't see a packing slip anywhere with the return label. So hopefully it's buried somewhere in here, and if not, I'm gonna have to like contact them. Okay, so the first item is this actually really cute designed uh, workout tank. I really like the front of it. It's really cool, a very pretty color. I don't know if it'll come on camera, but it's kind of like a purpley gray, like very subtle, but very nice, I like it. It has a built-in bra, so that's definitely what we want. Overall in great condition, no issues there. This is from the brand 15 Love. They're saying it's worth $36 and they want 18. So kind of a lot, I would say, for a secondhand workout tank. Even though I do like it, I probably would not keep this, even if it fits really well. We'll see if I change my mind when I try it on. But I probably would not keep this just because I could go to TJ Maxx and find something brand new for that price or cheaper. All right, the next item is pants, which I was a little bit worried about pants for this because I don't really ever buy any kind of bottoms from thread up or from any store online that i haven't like tried on their pants before just because i tend to be a little bit all over the place but we'll see if these fit especially because they're a medium and i'm typically a large but we'll see how this goes right off the bat just kind of nice uh thick leggings gray interesting like detail on the side more interesting than any leggings that I own, so this could be something that I would keep if they fit. So these are from RBX. Their estimated retail, according to ThreadUp, is $58, and they want $22 for them. So again, like, I feel like I could buy pants for that price, brand new. So we'll see. Unless they fit amazing, I'm probably not going to keep these. So next we've got this other pair of pants, which... I'm just gonna say this is not really my vibe. I'm not like a loud bottoms kind of person, especially with like athletic gear. These are from Old Navy, they're in a large. So these will probably fit me better than those other pants. Again, good condition. They kind of have like this mesh on the bottom a little bit. So the estimated retail on these is $33 and they want 21. 
probably would not pay that for these. The next we've got another tank and it's so worn on the inside that it's actually really <laughs> hard to read where it's from. This one is definitely the most worn of anything I've seen. And I have to say I'm not a huge fan of this knot in the back personally. I don't really like how that looks too much. Uh, I also am not a huge fan of yellow, orangey colors, which of course they wouldn't know that that's not their fault. Hey guys, Ali from the future here and uh, Gibby taking a snooze back there. But after going through the order and doing process of elimination, the estimated retail for this tank is $83 and they want $29 for it. Okay, so this next top is from Lucky Brand. This is definitely more of a top that you would wear for like yoga or going around in leggings. I definitely would not be working out in this. I do have to say I'm not a huge fan of the pattern myself. It's a fine top. It has like interesting detail on the sleeves, which I do like, but just not really drawn too much to this overall. So I probably won't be keeping this either. Sorry guys, I feel so negative in this one compared to the last one. I definitely liked many more items from my last haul, but this is like athletic athleisure wear. So I wasn't expecting to like it as much, but I hope what I'm saying doesn't reflect badly on the box overall. I'd say everything does fit the athleisure market, I guess. They're just not necessarily things that I like a whole lot. I don't know. But if you want to see items that I do like more, definitely watch the other goodie box video. But anyway, they're saying this top retails for approximately $99. Again, I think that's really high. And they want $26 for this. So absolutely, I'm not going to pay that. Sorry, thread up. Oh, cross your fingers for me. I want to keep something. Okay, okay, this could be promising. This is definitely, oh wait, I think I spoke too soon. I didn't see the sleeves on this, but this is like, just kind of like a more stylish crew neck sweatshirt, I guess, but guys, look at these sleeves. This will definitely be something that could be either really cute or really hideous. Uh, when I try it on, we'll see. But I do like the color a lot. It's kind of like a very subtle green tealy color. Uh, very good condition. Feels really nice and soft on the inside. This is from the brand Dance and Marvels, some like dance company, which kind of makes sense with like the weird ribbon maybe on the sleeves. But they're saying the estimated retail on this is $48 and they want $18 for it. Which to me, of all the things so far, this price makes the most sense because it's like a sweatshirt, it's in really good condition, and I'm trusting ThreadUp, I don't know this brand, but I'm trusting that it is worth around $50 brand new, and this feels like basically brand new to me. So we'll see how this looks in the try-on and if I decide to keep it. All right, now we've come to our LuLaRoe dress. We knew it was gonna be in here, didn't we? But not to be a spoiler, but the thing I did keep from my last haul was surprisingly a Lulu Road dress. I really liked it. I definitely like this one a lot less. I don't mind the color so much, but I'm not a, really a fan of this kind of like baseball tee balot coloring. I just don't really like that that much. It is pretty long. You could definitely wear it without leggings or anything underneath it. It feels very like preschool teacher to me, which is not necessarily my vibe. Uh, so I think I'll be passing on this one as well. This one they are saying is worth $48 and they are asking $19 for it. So I mean, probably not a bad price. It is in really, really good condition. Feels like it's barely been worn. Very, very comfortable. I just don't necessarily like the look of it overall, so I will most likely be passing on it. Next we've got a quarter zip. Everybody loves a good quarter zip, right? This is an interesting pattern. I don't know how I feel about it. It's kind of like I guess it is floral on top, and I'm a floral queen, so this could be good. Uh, there's like a weird tribal looking thing in the middle, and then a whole nother pattern on the bottom. But it is pretty subtle, so it might look okay in the try-on. Okay, so this is very worn, and when I find very worn things, even if they're okay, I just kind of get like grossed out a little bit if they're like really worn. And I can't, I mean like, can you guys read that? <laughs> it's very worn. It looks like this is from Athleta, but I don't think they could figure it out because it just says Assorted Brands Track Jacket. They're saying valued at $60, so that always kind of cracks me up when they can't figure out the brand. They still put an estimated retail, and they came up with $60, uh, and they're asking $20. So yeah, even though I don't like hate this or anything, I just, I'm not going to pay $20 for a very worn-in quarter zip. 
I could find a quarter zip for this price or less brand new. Uh, so this is just something I'm for sure gonna pass on. So next we've got this tank from Brooks. It feels kind of big, but it is a medium actually, so maybe it will be less big on. But this could be the item, even though I don't like love it, love it, love it. Uh, it's not bad. It's very flowy. It kind of has like an abstract floral pattern on it. I like the color. I do think it's in very good condition. It doesn't look like it's been worn hardly at all. So they're saying this is valued at $54, which seems high, and they're asking $18. Eh. So I can probably say right now, if none of the other things look good in the try-on, I'm guessing this will be the one thing I keep. It's not bad. I mean, I definitely wouldn't pick this up at the thrift store for $18, but for the purposes of this video, if I spent $10, I'd rather it go towards something, you know? Okay, the last item. Will it be a winner? <laughs> Let's cross our fingers. Okay, this is interesting. <laughs> I don't know why this is in this box. So this is a Ralph Lauren skirt. It's kind of like a khaki skirt, which is not usually my vibe. I'm not usually a khaki kind of gal, but I mean like overall it's in good condition. Who knows, maybe I'll be surprised when I try it on and I'll like the way it looks. So this skirt they are estimating at $115 and they're asking $18 for it. So that is pretty good for a good condition Ralph Lauren skirt, I would say. And good news guys, the packing slip was in the bottom of the box, so I am able to return it. You don't have to pay to return the items, you just have to return them within seven days. Last time I had no issues, so hopefully this time I will have no issue again, because I definitely don't want to keep the vast majority of these things. I will kind of insert here anything that I decided to keep, hopefully something. Okay, so I'm surprised to be saying it, but I am going to keep these gray leggings. I did like them when I was looking at them, I just didn't think that they were going to fit since they're a size smaller than I normally wear in bottoms, but they fit me pretty well, I think. They're like a little bit tight, but nothing bad at all. So yeah, I'm going to keep these. And even though this experience was not quite as good as my last one, definitely not as good for me, I still vouch for a ThreadUp's goodie boxes just because it is only $10 and that does go towards anything that you would want to keep. I don't like when companies have like goodie boxes like this, but you have to pay a much larger amount of money and you don't get that money back if you don't want to keep anything. So for me, it is worth it to spend $10 and potentially find nothing, which is kind of what happened here because I do have a fun time opening it up and uh, seeing what's in there and seeing what they picked out for me. So if you think that's worth it, then getting a ThreadUp goodie box could be for you. They do have different types of boxes. Off the top of my head, I can just think of uh, trending styles, athleisure, comfy chic I think was one. So I'd be curious what that one was like. But overall, I do think ThreadUp is a very good company and I would suggest getting either a goodie box or just going through the site and finding items on your own. I am not sponsored, they're not paying me to say this, they didn't send me this box for free, so these are absolutely my own opinions, but I mean, I just think it's fun to get the boxes. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys, and if you liked it, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. I make new videos every Monday and Friday about thrifty shopping, fashion, and just kind of general lifestyle. So if you like that kind of stuff, please make sure to check out my other videos and subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!